just a little bit about the background when they sort of set up the PowerPoint. Actually, I'm going to ask a few questions. Um, how many uh, freshmen are in the audience? Just raise your hand. Sophomores? Juniors? Seniors? Graduates? Um, 
And the point of that is simply that, that as you build yourself up between now and when you get to the point that you graduate from college, or maybe you're lucky enough to be successful enough in college that you can drop out, which is frankly the most ideal scenario, um, but very unlikely. Um, but uh, you should be thinking about how you can go about finding what will make you happy and successful. Um, the most important thing about this is to remember two things, two important things. The first thing is that it, it's not really about what profession you choose necessarily, it's about how you go about winning in that profession. And so, like, for example, uh, I never knew I would be an entrepreneur or a startup person in any way, right? I grew up just wanting to be doing business. The reason why I ended up in this field is because this is the field that intersected with the level of success, both financial and personal, like reward and value I can provide to people with the talents that I have. Um, as another example, my brother, uh, who's, who's someone I, I talk about a lot in these types of situations, um, in high school felt like he was going to be a photojournalist and really believed that photojournalism was going to be the only thing that he could love. However, photojournalism is dying. Right? I mean, there's no doubt in my mind right now, look, if I, was, if I was to go back 40 years ago, being a journalist was a very glamorous and amazing thing, right? The problem is that the industry is generally dying, and so when I was trying to talk to my brother, uh, I was like, dude, I know you think that this is the only thing in the world. You, you believe that <coughs> journalism is the end-all, be-all, but there are other things that you will love and other things that will intersect, that will provide you with both something that you love and something that can, can set you up for financial and career success. And it's important for you to think about both of those things when deciding what you will do, and also to realize that that decision is not a final decision, that you are making these decisions on a daily basis. Every week, every month, that you do what you do, you make a decision to, to continue doing that or to start a new, a new road. And it's very important to make sure that that road aligns with what you're really interested in. The next thing is that compromise really is the worst thing you could possibly do. A good example of a compromise that many of you are faced with is this decision of where to go to college. You have this problem, which is that college is really freaking expensive. Like, insanely, unnecessarily expensive. And I've spent a lot of my life sort of today trying to figure out how we can get rid of college entirely. But the reality is many of you still have to go to college and that's an expectation. Now, if you have the choice between going to a college that costs $100,000 all inclusive for four years, or $200,000, it's very easy to take the college that, that costs less and compromise on the quality of that college. So for example, going to UC Berkeley versus going to San Jose State. And there are lots of good reasons to believe that San Jose State could still lead you to the same level of success as UC Berkeley. Certainly there's no, there's nothing wrong with any individual university. However, when you make decisions, when you make the decision to save money and go to San Jose State, you're making a compromise that reduces your chance of success in the future. And that's really important. It's really important to realize that anytime you're in a given situation, you are faced with two options, and one option is going to be easier. Right? And one option is going to be a lot harder, and oftentimes the harder option is the one that is more likely to set you up for something that you love. A great example of this is after college. When you graduate from college, you will have the opportunity to look at many different jobs. Every single person I know, from Mission San Jose especially, graduated from high school, Went to, went to a four-year university, graduated from university, and then applied to a certain set of jobs, and, is, and spent two years in one of those jobs, and pretty much universally was not as happy as they would have been if they had done something differently. I've really never met someone who graduated from college who went to consulting or banking, which are sort of the two most popular business careers, and really was happy in what they did. And so what you need to realize is that when you go to college, your job is not to figure out how you can get that, that easy, simple path. It's to figure out how can I break away from this path? 